with a statue standing tall behind them, more than a hundred advocates gathered on a wind-blown waterfront to take what they called a protest photo opposing state proposals to develop portions of Liberty State Park. Freedom must ring from Liberty Park and not developers' cash registers. This park means everything to me. And I could start crying now if anything happened to it. But it's really very emotional. I love this park. We're always here as a family. We bring the dog, we bring the bikes. We're always here. She loves it. In the summertime, I'm in this park four or five times a week. I'm very upset that they want to turn the park into more of a commercialized area. I feel that the governor has thrown the residents of Hudson County under the bus. The state DEP is considering several projects like a world-class hotel, restaurants, a recreational venue and sports center that would generate revenue and make Liberty State Park self-supporting. Private developers would also help pay to rehab crumbling historic structures like the train yard. The DEP claims it would take up only 38 acres. Regardless, that vision's a non-starter for many. This park is not for sale. A hotel is not the place for the park, okay? Yeah. They want to be able to build a hotel, do it on the outside, not in the park. There's no need to add anything to them. There's no need for a so-called world-class whatever. The parks exist, they have value, they're a public trust resource for us, the public. Politicians a few weeks ago outlined tactics to thwart the DEP's plans by delaying any development process in the courts if necessary until a new governor's elected. The state DEP says it will solicit input from stakeholders before moving forward with any development. For advocates, that's not good enough. They've sent a letter to Commissioner Bob Martin requesting open public hearings. Because the communities, the communities that live here, they are part of Liberty State Park. So they need to make sure that we are heard mm -hmm. as one voice and not pick and choose what what should be done to the park. The battle over developing Liberty State Park will undoubtedly last months, if not years, but it's public protests like these that are the park advocates' last best weapon. At Liberty State Park, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.